hi everyone welcome back to my channel today things are going to be a little bit different um we're going to be baking zucchini bread uh i know a lot of us have children that don't really like to eat vegetables and i thought this would be a really fun thing to do because it's 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 a fun way to get your kids to eat their vegetables and also a fun way to get you know us to eat our vegetables i, I love vegetables by the way but some of us don't some of us don't really like vegetables and i feel like that's a really cool way to incorporate vegetables into your diet by like actually cooking them, cooking them into like baked goods, like breads and stuff like that. I think that's really cool that you can still do stuff like that. So this isn't just for kids, this is for adults as well. Uh, this is a really good recipe. So I wanted to cook it with you guys so that I can just put this recipe out there for those of you that have never heard of zucchini bread. So let's go. Okay, so the ingredients you're going to need for this recipe will be flour, of course, butter, sour cream, green onion, baking powder, two eggs, cheddar cheese, one jalapeno, and Monterey Jack cheese. Almost forgot one ingredient and that last ingredient is baking soda. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get your zucchini shredded. I'm not sure if you guys want to use like the hand shredder. If you want to use the hand shredder, like the cheese grater, you can use that. But since I don't have one of those, I, I'm just going to go ahead and use it in my blender because my blender, uh, it kind of has like a fruit food processor as well because most blenders can do that. But mine chops stuff pretty good. And so I, I'll just use my blender. And so you can use either or. You can use the um cheese grater and there's also a little hack that you can do i don't know if you guys if, if everybody has heard of this hack but you can also let me get it so that i can explain to you in detail okay so what i was getting ready to say was if you don't have a cheese grater to shred your cheese up really fine like this if you can't shred it up real fine like that you can uh you can use one of these, a potato pillar. Um, so yeah, if you wanna just, it, it might take a little bit longer, but it still, it still does the trick. So yeah, you can just shred smaller pieces into a bowl with using a potato pillar, or you can use a, your, you can use your blender, or you can use your food processor, you can use your cheese grater. There's many different ways to shred zucchini, but today I'm gonna go ahead and use my blender. See, zucchini is pretty easy. I look at it the same thing as peeling potatoes. Then when you get that those little bad spots on them like that, you can you can just you can get that right off with the potato peeler. See? And zucchini, that's what I like about zucchini. They're very easy to to peel if you don't like that skin on there very quick and easy to peel. Okay, so now that I'm done getting all the skin off of the zucchini, I'm cutting them up and putting them in my blender so I can get ready to shred them up. So the amount of zucchini we're gonna need is one and a half cups. So make sure you contribute one and a half cups to your blender. Okay, so before you want to mix anything into your flour, you want to get a separate bowl and you wanna mix in your sour cream, your two eggs, your green onion, your, your jalapeno, and your butter. You wanna mix all that in into the same mixture well before you add it into the mixture with the flour. So we're gonna do that right now. Now, if you use the blender, if you want to, you can you can drain the juice off of your zucchini. I already done that. I kind of already walked over to my sink and drained it a little bit, but I'm gonna keep the rest of this juice in here. I recommend if you don't, like you do not have to do it in the blender. I just did it like this because I, did, I literally don't have a, um, a cheese grater. But if you have a cheese grater, I really recommend that you use the cheese grater, but you can still do it like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients into the bowl that we're supposed to add. Okay, 
because I want my uh, my jalapeno to be in shreds. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these this up. And my family loves spicy food, so we don't mind the, the seeds being in there because we all love the, the spiciness. All right. Okay. So let's see. So this should be one fourth of a cup. So yes, this is about one fourth of a cup. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. So there's your one fourth of a cup of green onion and jalapeno. I'm gonna add your two eggs. Okay, and then you wanna add your three fourth cups of sour cream. This is a brand new egg of sour cream, so it's not open. So you're gonna to wanna to fill this up three fourth cups of a wave. Three fourth cups. Guys, make sure you're very, very careful when you're putting it in there so you won't get it on the edge so you can see your measurement. So it looks like it's almost three fourths of a cup. So we're gonna add that in there. You wanna add your three fourth cups. Okay, so that's about three fourth cups of butter. I'm gonna go melt this. Once you melt your butter, you wanna let it cool off and then you add it to the mixture. You don't have to let it cool off completely, but it doesn't. It, don't let it be hot when you add your butter to the mixture. Okay, so I've cooled the butter and this is what you want it to be like this. This is the butter, the texture you want the butter to be. Warm, but not hot, not hot. Yeah, like that's about right. The bowl was running out of room, so I went ahead and transferred it to another bowl. That's okay, no biggie. Okay, so you wanna go ahead and add your butter mixture to your mixture. Okay, so you wanna mix this well. Mix it in really, really good. Okay, so here's our two cups of flour. That's one, two. Okay, and so for those of you that are doubling your recipe, you would just put four cups of flour. Okay, and then you wanna go ahead and add your baking powder, which is one and a half teaspoons. Okay, and then next you wanna go ahead and add your half a teaspoon of baking soda. And then you wanna add your half teaspoon of salt. Okay, and then so here is where I go ahead and add my Cajun seasoning. So you wanna add about a half a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, like the, you know, the seasoning salt. You wanna add some crushed red pepper. I don't measure my crushed red pepper. I just put, get like a little bit in my hand and I just put a little bit in that half a teaspoon of garlic salt, garlic powder. But don't forget, if you're doubling the recipe, you're supposed to put two. Then you add onion powder, half a teaspoon, and paprika, half a teaspoon. Now what you wanna do is get the mixture that you mix together uh, with the zucchini and you add it to your flour. Don't worry about it looking all weird. It's gonna be delicious. I'm just kind of stirring it in just a little bit, but I need to go ahead and add the cheese. I'm gonna add one and a half cup of the cheddar cheese, and then I'm gonna add a half a cup of the Monterey Jack cheese. Okay, so that's one cup of cheddar. Okay, and that's that's about a half cup right there. And then I'm gonna get the Monterey Jack cheese, and I'm gonna shred it into this measuring cup so I can get it, so I can properly measure it. Don't make fun of my measuring cup, y'all. I have other measuring cups, it's just that I didn't want to throw this one away because for some reason, I'm always baking and cooking and I'm always needing to measure, I'm always needing to measure more than one thing at a time. 
like literally I just did that in this video so that's why I have this one because the, my other ones are that's why I keep these I just keep it for backup for just in case guys it's okay no big deal there we go half a cup of Monterey Jack cheese okay and then once you add your cheese that's when you can go ahead and completely mix all of your ingredients in together Okay, so it should look something like this when you get done. Now I'm gonna go grab my bread trays and I'll be right back. So I have my cookie trays, my cookie trays. <laughs> okay, so I have my, my bread trays. I have my bread pans, bread trays, bread cook, cookers, whatever y'all call them, I have them. So let's do that. Okay, so now what I'm doing is oiling the pans, and this is a tip for people who don't like buying the oil in the spray cans. You can just drizzle like a little olive oil or whatever oil that you prefer in your pan and literally just get a napkin. You can get a napkin and just spread the oil out throughout the pan, and that's basically the same thing. I do it all the time. See, I just drizzled a little bit of olive oil in there, and then I get my napkin, my clean napkin, and then I wipe it throughout the pan so that I won't have my bread stick to the pan. Okay, and so now we add our bread. And once that's done heating up, you're gonna to wanna to place your bread into the oven. While I wait for that, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my mess.